Houston has not trailed in the first half. They lead at 58-48, and they've gotten 18 out of James Harden as they take aim at a 3-1 lead over the Jazz as they play game four in Salt Lake City. American Express halftime report from Studio J in Atlanta. Ernie Johnson along with Shaq and Charles and Victor Oladipo, our special guest tonight, filling Oladipo. in oh. for Kenny the Jet <laughs> Smith. Our American Express teammates, we've got uh, James Harden from the first quarter when he had 14 on four of eight shooting. Got Chris Paul in the second quarter. 10 of his 12 coming in the second as Paul plays on his 33rd birthday and plays on his birthday for the first time ever in his career. Oh, that's nice. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Yeah. Very that's impressive. Uh-huh. Um, we must not be in the conference finals. Uh, no, this we're in the conference semi. <laughs> that was a joke, Ernie. I know it's May, but it's May 6th, okay? The no, conference, but conference finals are never He's never been there either. I know. Exactly. It's a joke, Ernie. <laughs> I know it is. But take it easy on it. Take it easy. Got All right. It. What, what you got from the, from the Rockets' side? Well, listen, game one, game three, and with this game, Houston's playing with great pace. When they play with great pace and they're hitting shots, they can't be beat. Right there, you see Chris Ball move the ball to the leader. James Harden does what he does. And right here, Clint Capella, you know, he's not a big guy. You're not going to call us play, but when the big guy's hustling and running like that, you get it to him. James Harden, Mike D'Antoni said, we trust you to make the right play. Kick it to my main man right there. Pow! For three. And they're playing with great pace. They're up 10 in a hostile arena. Here, bully ball right here. Get out the way, little man. Houston Rockets playing with great pace. Again, me and Chuck talk about this. They watch Golden State. They want to end the series. They don't want it to be 2-2. Two two. Uh, it's a 58-48 game. Got one of the best defensive players in the league in Victor Oladipo here. Well, and when you, look at, when you look at James Harden, who's a tough guy to, uh, to defend, uh, he gets to the line more than anybody in the league, makes more free throws than anybody in the league, just draws contact like nobody in the league. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I agree. I think the way he draws fouls is a skill. Um, honestly, if you watch him and... <gasps> Vic's picks. Uh -oh. Nice. Oh, That's you got to go to the wow. board, dog. <laughs> Are you going to the board, dog? Oh, I'm going to the board, oh. dog. I got to run. I got to run like Kenny when I go to the wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you put the picks in the board? Oh, man. This is... Here we go. All right. Oh, we got a, we got a, we got a big. Rolling. <laughs> rolling. We rolling. All right. You see James right here doing a great job first. He thought he was about to get a, a foul right there coming off the pick right here. Watch him sell it. Nice little floater. Okay, here we go. This is what I'm talking about right here. It's one-on-one -on -one with Jay Crowder on the wing. As soon as Jay touches him, he does a great job of setting the foul. It's a skill. Because um, when I get touched, you know, even when I, when I play, I don't get a foul. <laughs> um, he does a great job. Of, he does a great job of if you touch him, if he feels you, he always flares. You see that? He's always setting the foul. Um, and guys in our league like him, LeBron, Different guys like that are really good at it. It's a skill. Something I need to get better at. Yeah, Kenny walk. Kenny walk on the way back. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, don't be mad at me. I had to no, do no, it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Nothing hurts more, Kenny the Jet Smith, than someone filling in and doing that. Um, that was awesome. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a dream. That was a dream of mine, actually. So negative Rockets. A couple things they're going to have to really tighten up before they play the Warriors. Number one. They really emotional with the refs. And so the Rockets cut it out. They That's what I said. I mean, uh, so uh, yeah. Golden State. But the, but they don't have the, the the margin of error. Like they going they can beat 90 percent of the teams in the league by a score them. But when they play the Warriors, uh, number one, they can't be getting emotional with the refs, and they cannot be turning the ball over. You know, I, I'm looking at the big picture. Sometimes they're so careless, careless with the ball. That's going to be three-pointers on the other end, through a quick six, nine points when you play the Warriors. But the main thing, they're not going to get every call. The Warriors probably, because they're the champs, you know, the champ always going to get more calls. So they're going to have to always keep themselves under control. Uh, and they, they're going to tighten that up if they got any chance against the Warriors. Jeremy, we got the uh, Donovan Mitchell uh, second quarter tape up there. Uh, let's let's talk about that because Victor he came alive. Yeah late late stages of the second quarter Yeah, I think he just did a great job of just getting a switch he wanted um, and taking on the defender and just cool um, Being decisive with his moves as you can see um, He's very skilled man a great young player and, uh, He can do it outside inside and uh, 
when he switch, when he get that big to switch that five and click Capella, you just gonna go into his package. So I'm um, just awesome to see he's doing a great job right now. They're gonna need him in the second half. Just two points on one of four in the first quarter. Finishes the half with 15 on six of 13. It's a 10 point game, and we'll be back. Welcome to the American Express Halftime Report. American Express. Warriors and Pelicans play in game four at Smoothie King Center today. And Kevin Durant and company led by 18 oh, in the that. first wow. half. But Anthony Davis and the Pelicans would cut that to four. You know, last game, the Pelicans smacked them, beat them by 20. So you got to know when you're the champ, they're going to come out, play inspired basketball, just like they did today. Steph Curry, yeah. number three all time, and threes made in the playoffs. Chuck <laughs> passes Manu Ginobili. And then you can do about that, a big seven foot the jump shooter. <laughs> Durant with 38. <laughs> And so the Golden State Warriors take that 3-1 lead over the Pelicans, 118-92. to They never trail. They lead by as many as 26. And they will try to close them out at Oracle on Tuesday on TNT, the Twitter machine. <laughs> hey, get off my man knees, man. This is the halftime entertainment oh, in Salt Lake City. Give me a break. Mango and you can do that. If you hold them up. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you. Mango and you. Oh. Yeah, but can they open up a, some kind of a home? Box? Box? Yeah, it's a CD player. Wow. There it was. <laughs> Pretty close. Yeah, I'm getting it. It's accurate a little bit. <laughs> you just put some sandpaper. Hey, girls. Those That's are Chuck's dogs, Mango and you. Hey, They're Mango. Good. Hey, Daddy's girls. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you gotta what have kind of dogs, dogs are those? Oh, they, oh, dogs, that dogs that need it. Dogs that need it. work on their team. You've been watching the American Express Halftime Report. American Express, the official card of the NBA.